It was a bumpy start to the day for millions of travelers after a system failure failure grounded all U.S. flight departures. Now it happened this morning for about an hour and a half. The ripple effect of thousands of delays and cancellations will cause travel headaches across the country throughout the day and perhaps even the week. The failure is being blamed on a computer outage and President Biden has now ordered a Department of Transportation investigation. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg said the FAA communication system that failed is routinely updated and upgraded. So the question is, how could it have all stopped working with all of its backups? And on the heels of all this morning's airline fiasco happenings, well, federal officials are still investigating Southwest Airlines holiday travel meltdown from December 21st through New Year's Eve. You remember Southwest canceling more than 16,000 flights. Well, that left thousands stranded during the holidays. The Department of Transportation sent every complaint directly to Southwest. The agency is giving the airline 60 days to respond, and some of those complaints include that the airline isn't making good on its pledge to issue refunds. Well, first, Southwest, now this morning's massive delays. We are talking to air travelers here in Corpus Christi who are now feeling the pain. Yeah, that's right. With the FAA outage causing a second significant flight disruption since the new year started, some people tell us they're losing confidence in the airline industry. It's ridiculous. You can't go from all these years of millions and millions of people flying and then all of a sudden, oh, something happened and now we don't know where your baggage is. Oh, sorry, canceled. Oh, sorry, delayed. Something's going on there. And so anytime we can drive, we're going to drive. Valerie Trudorung found herself caught up in a mess of flight delays for a second time this year. She visited Corpus Christi for a funeral. And on Wednesday, she went to the airport to catch a flight back home to San Diego, California. Something had happened with the FAA and then flights were all delayed and maybe canceled. Ours is delayed here, but only by 30 minutes. So we're hoping we don't miss our other one in Houston. The California resident was also one of the thousands of passengers affected by Southwest meltdown in the beginning of the year. We got stuck in Denver. They said weather, and when we looked up the other cities, we didn't see any weather problems at all. Trudorung was a frequent Southwest flyer, and she said after the issues she's experienced, she's not a customer of theirs anymore. And after the FAA issue, her confidence in the airline industry is slim. Too many delays, too many cancellations, you know, which is, you can't travel like that. And she's not the only traveler who feels that way. Linda Haycook from Tennessee says she wishes she can just drive to where she needs to be. We have family members that are all over the country and it just puts a stop on us wanting to fly there, you know, because of the problems they're having. Corpus Christi International Airport representatives say many of the recent issues that have happened are beyond their control. But they also say they always do what they can to help their travelers. We have plans in place for anything and everything that could happen. Um, hopefully it doesn't. And, and we've already been able to respond really, really well to the curveballs that have been thrown to us. So we're very confident that if, if we continue to get, whether it's weather impacts, computer issues, we've got a plan in place uh, to minimize the impact to our customer here. Now, some travelers tell us they'll try having more flexible traveling dates to give them an extra day to get home, and they're planning to prepare for possible delays in the future.